guys, this is Sheila from Seaside Snuggles QPC, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, in addition to quilt making, I design fabrics and put them on Spoonflower. Spoonflower is a print-on-demand service that will print designs on fabrics, wallpaper, um, and uh, they sell bedding and home decor items with those prints on them if you opt into that. And um, I've got quite a few designs on there right now, but this is my haul for this month. I usually will buy my proofs on a monthly basis. And I just thought I would share an unboxing of my designs for this month. So here we go. All right, so I unpacked it a little bit. All right, so I've got my receipt and it was wrapped in a piece of paper and they always send you a thank you card. Thanks for your friends. Oh, let me see if I can get that in the frame. Thanks from your friends at Spoonflower. Wash your fabric first. So just note that, you know, this is not washed yet. So this is how it comes straight from the printing. And we'll just take one at a time. So they had a contest for wallpaper for their um, studio. And these were my, well, one of these was my entry. And I think it's actually pretty cute. It was, um, I think it's inspiring. It was for their break room. And I thought putting, highlighting the word eat within the word create would be fun. And so I made this in a simple color scheme with reds and greens and blues and yellows and these like hand-drawn flowers. And it says, love what you create, create for wellness, inspire others to create and create together. And then I have it in a rainbow. Let's see if I can open this and keep it in frame on black as well, which is cute. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Um, so with the rainbow one, I have purples, blues, greens, reds, orange, yellow, you know, colors of the rainbow with the same hand drawn flowers and the same inspire others to create, create together, love what you create and create with joy. It's time to create, create for wellness. Those are the um, inspiring little phrases that I have on here. And I have the same design on white, which looks good. And this is my proof. So um, I get these on a sample pack so that I can just see that my repeats come together smoothly. And I I think these are really cute. I did it in a large scale and a small scale, sideways and horizontally. So with the grain and cross grain is what I did for these particular prints. Then I also have a couple of prints that are old but that I never had for sale. Um, just because I hadn't um, gotten the proof before. So this is one of my first mandala designs that I just did in blues and whites. And this one you can't see the repeat because it's a very large scale, but I also have it the exact same image in a small scale. So I'm able to, you know, see the repeats here. And it looks, I think it looks better in person actually than um, what I could see on the screen. I like it. It's pretty pretty nice and I can you know see how it looks on the large scale here which I think would make a really nice wallpaper and I'll go um, to the website with you and and show you what their mock-ups of the different fabrics look like on their site but this one was for a contest this one was for hand-drawn flowers which is what I kind of I enjoyed making that so that's what I did for the create Let's put that away. And 
And my next sample sheet is these, a couple of these were customer request resize, and I wanted to see them in person. Um, even though I made them available immediately, I did want to see them in person, and it's just super cute. So shout out to Amy. I hope that's okay that I give you a shout out. Shout out to Amy who requested this for her business, and um, I will contact her and make sure that it's okay that I link her business in the description below. But that is pretty cute. These were actually, that's actually a photograph of the camellia at the house that I lived in in Alabama. And I turned that into a fabric and then she requested a smaller scale for her projects. She also requested um, one of my other fabrics, one of my very popular fabrics, which is my um, afros and head wraps. Let's turn this the right direction. My afros and head wraps, she wanted this design in the small scale, but coordinated with the flower design. So I took the pinks and the greens and the yellows and I put them, I changed the head wraps to those colors so that they would be able to coordinate with that flower design. And I think it, it turned out pretty good. It was unintentionally a reference to a, uh, sorority as well now that I'm looking at it but it looks super cute but after I did it on white I thought well that's a little plain I kind of want to see if I can make it pop so I did it in this bright green and she actually liked this one better which made me have very happy because I like it better on the green also so let me see if I can bring them a little closer these are um, black women with beautiful afros and headbands and head wraps. And this is based on one of my most popular designs on Spoonflower. So yeah, I like the way that looks. Then this design was for um, Summer, Fest, Summer Festival, um, the Summer Festival contest. And it's got a flower crown which is one of the symbols of flower festival and it's got daisies and strawberries and little frogs and ribbon for like the maypole so I, I guess we're actually coming back around to that time of year again and I had ordered this in the smaller scale to see what it looked like but I didn't look at it in the larger scale and I like it I think it's fun and pretty and the flowers look pretty good and the frogs look super cute. So I have a print that's just the frogs and it's many frogs in different sizes and some of them have crowns on them. And I call that you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince, you get that joke? So this design I did for Mother's Day. I don't know if I like the crown, but I made a crown on her head out of the word mom, if you can see that. But I love her face. I love the little freckles that are just very faint on here. But the way her face turned out, I just, I just love it. I might remove her crown. I don't know, but I was trying to do a Mother's Day design, so I did it with a brown background and a pink background. And I like it, I like it. And I love to see um, the things that people make with these designs. So I'll make these for sale. Now that I've proofed them, I'm not seeing any errors. I'll give them a good look off of camera and see if I see any errors. But um, so far they look really good. Okay, so this is, this might make you laugh might be like, what the heck is that? So here in the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> we have these things called razor clams. And um, we're fortunate enough to be able to go out to the beach and dig them when the um, fishing game says that they're safe to eat. And so this is actually one of our harvests from last year. 
uh, that I put on repeat and they are kind of disturbing to look at, but I thought what a funny print for someone to make something with or like if they have a seafood um, themed party or a seafood restaurant, what a neat fabric to make placemats or a tablecloth or just something fun that's um, says Pacific Northwest to me. Like I, I dig it. I dig it. And the scale is like life size because <laughs> these get pretty big up here in Washington on the Washington coast. So I actually like that. I might have to check on this right here. That looks like a little bit of an, an error that I could probably work on right there. But other than that, I'm going with this fabric. You never know what people are gonna be into. What a cute bag that would make with the razor clams. It'd be like a, like a private joke. So what else do we have here? This is another one of my mandalas that I designed early on. Um, and I did it, sometimes I'll do them with a bit of a 3D look. I'll add some shadow behind it or some um, dimension to it through the program that I use, which is PowerPoint. And if you're interested in seeing how I make these designs on PowerPoint, um, because that's usually how I start my designs and then I'll take them to um, Photoshop Express to just kind of tweak them and size them and get the repeats right. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know because I can easily do some videos on that also. I've got my, my hands in a lot of little things. So I do like the way this design turned out. I like this organization. I like the repeat. I don't see any errors in, in the design. So yeah, I'm gonna make that for sale. That's gonna be a go. I like it. And this is just a small scale of that um, summer festival design. And you could see more of the ribbons and the little strawberries and the little froggies. Super cute, super cute. I'm pretty happy with what we've gotten so far. And I think that's all that's on this yard of fabric. So I've got one more yard to inspect. So, so far the only thing I really need to fix is part of that razor clam design. So this one was also a customer request. I had this design. Let me see if I can open this up. There we go. I had this design in neutrals with grays and she asked that I, I mean, sorry, beige, beige. And she asked that I do this design in grays. She uses it for furniture. And I think the grays turned out even better than the neutral beige. I love the way this mandala looks in this color scheme. And my repeats look pretty good. They look pretty seamless right here, so. I think this is a good proof. Um, I also went back to a Halloween design that I had that was a mandala with some goth girls, um, their faces in the middle with, you know, the spiders and all that in the background. And I decided to take the faces off just for another uh, variation and kind of grunge up the background so you'll see like there's some gray in here. So just kind of uh, antique or grunge the background on this. So this is that in white, and that I think looks very good. Here it is on beige, and you can see like there's, you know, a little grunginess to the, to the beige in the background, a little antiquing so it looks old and worn and the mandala looks like lace in this like kind of monotone blacks and then the spiders and then you have like a little bit of spider web on there as well and I love this one as well uh, I'm a little dark I can be a little dark at times I also did that design in plum and I feel like this plum is a little too saturated 
Um, it's got a shadow cast behind it, which might be mud muddling, 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 might be muddying. <laughs> English is my first and only language, even though I understand a little bit of some other ones. All right, I've got, so I've got like an error right here, but I don't think that's from me. I think that's from the printing process. It's a little white spot there. But I feel like I need to make this more contrasty so that you can really break out the spiders. Maybe remove the shadow um, so that you can really see the spiders and the mandalas brighten up the this plum color a little bit. It might just be too too close and look a little muddy. So I'll be making that correction on here, though I love the purple. I do love the purple in the bag. Maybe I can make it a little washed out so that the black stands out a little better and remove the shadow. So this is one that I'm gonna need to work on. Let me hold it up to the camera. And you can see, and you can see the different tones of the plum that make that antiquing or grungy look but I am gonna make it lighter, I think. And then I did the same design one more time in Peacock. There we go. And again, I love it, I love it, but it does seem a little bit washed out. <sighs> I don't know, I like I like that it's subtle. I think that what I'm gonna do is just take the shadow off. Once I remove the shadow, I think that'll be enough because looking at the peacock and the purple next to each other, like you can see the black on top. I think I'm just gonna remove the shadow and then let it be that subtle because I don't want it to scream at you Spider webs, spider webs, lace, lace, lace. I want it to be like, what's that? And then you come up to it, it's like, oh, spiders. That's kind of cool. That's what I want to happen. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna remove the shadows. And that, this beige though, I am digging this a lot. Like if you got a creepy room, you could go with this neutral beige with the blacks. If you got kind of like a goth room or just a noir or even like a steampunky room, you could use this in. And then your color scheme is not gonna really be affected. You could choose your pop of color, whether it be red or plum or teal or, you know, just whatever. Like I love this one the most. I almost wish it was a little more grungy in the back, but I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like it's just a little stain. So those are my fabrics. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to make those adjustments to my, uh, my peacock and my plum on the spiders and to my razor clams. I'm going to make those little corrections and I think that's it. I'm going to I think I'm gonna leave the mom. I'll leave the mom and then I'll make another face. If you'd like to see how I make my faces, those are pretty fun. Faces and mandalas, I think would be the way to, to do a demo on how I make my designs on PowerPoint and then take them to um, Photoshop Express. So, just a quick review to make sure I, there's nothing I wanna change. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, um, I will probably take you to the computer and show you how these are um, rendered on the Spoonflower site when you see your designs um, in different on different products and different fabrics. And. Uh, that will probably be the video. 
Hi guys, I just wanted to go over um, what my fabrics actually look like in Spoonflower. Um, Spoonflower will show you your designs rendered in different uh, products like wallpaper, kitchen and dining, bedding, living room decor, and fabric. So I just wanted to give you a look at some of the ones that we looked at uh, earlier in the video. And you can see this is the Mother's Day design that I showed you with the pink background. And you can like go and look at it zoomed up on a product or you could do lots of different fabrics. Um, there's just a lot of options. So um, here's that funny razor clam fabric, which I love. I think it's funky and weird and I think it would make awesome like kitchenware if you're having a seafood party or maybe a bag <laughs> or something fun like that where people would ask questions because when you look at it it's just so odd they're such odd clams so there's that um here's my mandala on gray that I showed you and how I said it would look great as a wallpaper I really really love this look I think it looks super classy in this scale but it also looks pretty good as a uh, as bedding like I think that looks really nice it's a nice neutral you know if you have a white room this one's also mine this uh, mandala black mandalas on white which looks really good and this one as well <laughs> so I have it in several scales anyway I'm getting distracted so the other one that we looked at were my create um, fabrics so this is the rainbow one that's vertically um, it goes with the grain of the fabric and then this one as well is the the blue and green and red and yellow that's also with the grain of the fabric so like if you were to get a table runner, it would be, you know, you'd be able to read it lengthwise. And if you got it as wallpaper, it would go up the wall. This is what it looks like um, horizontally on black, the rainbow. This is cross grain. So the tea towels would look like that. The table mats would look like this. The sheets look, I think they look kind of cute for like a teenager's room or just to create a space for wallpaper, an accent wall. And then my spider webs, the white turned out really good. My favorite is the beige. Um, but I did want to show you how it looks on the plum and the peacock. And um, I showed you when I was looking at it that didn't have a whole lot of contrast, right? So these are all rendered images. I love the way this looks as wallpaper, by the way. I think like in a goth room or a goth setting, this is an accent wall behind a bed with maybe black sheets would look amazeballs. Anyway, um, this is the peacock and this is how it renders and it doesn't look like it's that dark um, in the rendering. Let's look at the pillow here. Get a close up on it. You can see the spiders and you can see the background. Everything's broken out pretty well. On the actual fabric, it's not that distinct. So I am going to go in and try to either try to up the contrast or lighten the background or and or remove the shadow. Same thing with the plum. Um, let's look at the plum on wallpaper. And you see the same. It's a little soft looking on wallpaper, but the contrast I think I just need to up it a little bit. It looks like it's contrasting well in the images, but in the actual print, it's a little more saturated. And so you're not really seeing the details of the, um, the spiders or the webs or the lacy mandalas. So I'm going to go in and I'll, I'll brighten those up a little bit and we'll see how that all goes. So back to the video and I will close this up so um i'm probably not gonna want to record an outro tomorrow um i had my first vaccination today and i am feeling a little yucky 
So I'm sure I'm not gonna feel like doing this tomorrow. So I will probably record that tonight. And so I'm gonna give you my please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more unboxing videos in the future, please leave a comment in the bottom and let me know. If you're just interested in quilt videos, um, let me know that. And if you're interested in seeing how I design, my design process, um, then I'd be happy to show you that too. In fact, I'm about to, probably tomorrow, um, I'll be working on a the next contest design. So if you're interested, let me know. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to know when I have video content in the future, um, just select that little bell at the bottom so you'll get notifications. I'm trying to post regularly, but I'm not very good at editing and it takes me far longer than it should. But as I get better, um, hopefully I'll have content to, to you on a regular basis. Also, I started another channel you might have noticed last week that I posted a video of the beach near where I live. It's within walking distance, and so I try to walk once or twice a week now that the weather's getting better. And it's just 10 minutes, I think is what I'm gonna do, 10 minutes of calm beach with me not talking and you just hearing the ocean and the birds and maybe watching the sunset and just having 10 minutes of peace in this hectic, hectic time that we're in. So if you're interested in that, um, there'll be a link down below to that new channel. It's only got two videos on it so far, but I'll be walking down to the beach um, probably on Thursday or Friday and I'll get something for you. So thank you for joining me and uh, I will see you in the next one.